Hey guys, how are you? It's Lisa here. So today I'm gonna to be discussing with you guys some changes that I have experienced during pregnancy that I was not expecting. Okay, so I've always been active. I've always been very fit and very healthy. And I guess I just didn't, you know, you don't really know exactly what to expect. But um, right now I'm about four and a half months. So I'm 21, 21 weeks pregnant. So I'm about halfway there. So I'm gonna be discussing just some things that you might experience. And again, none of my symptoms or anything have been really, really bad. I've had a really nice pregnancy, but I figured I'd share because this is the kind of stuff that I was looking for and I still like to YouTube and Google because I'm always trying to find out kind of what's going on and maybe what I can expect. So your body's gonna change, obviously, duh right but i just wasn't expecting i guess it to change maybe so quickly so in the first few months your belly is going to get a little bit bigger you might feel like you're just bloated but definitely my also boobs got a lot bigger and they got a lot bigger for what i am usually used to um and also obviously your belly is going to get bigger it's not i mean that's inevitable it's going to happen no matter what but i did find that like my legs got a little bit bigger and maybe not necessarily my hips, but I have heard people saying that their hips kind of will get bigger. So body-wise, that's really been the biggest change. Um, other changes like physically, I can feel like my arms have pretty much stayed the same, but those are the two biggest things that, you know, you just don't know, you have no idea what, what to expect. Um, then some other things that I was trying to rack my brain, trying to figure out what was happening to me I even went um, gluten-free, I went dairy-free, I tried everything because I just started getting really bad sniffles at night and allergy attacks. Now, some of it was linked possibly to food, but a lot of it, I just was, I get so, so stuffy at night. And so for some reason lately, it's been getting a little bit better, but I Googled and some people can get allergy, I'm sorry, uh, pregnancy rhinitis. So pretty much just like an inflammation of these nasal passageways because, and this is due to hormones. So it could be due to the increase of estrogen, increase of progesterone. So all these different hormones is what actually causes that to happen. So if this is happening to you, of course, look at your diet, but I actually began to blame myself thinking that I'm doing something wrong. And then when the solution came out, I think I kind of like self-diagnosed myself, but I think that's what, what was happening. Um, in the beginning, I would say the first, you know, again, maybe 18 weeks, I was not emotional. Like people would say, oh, I was crying. I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just not a crier. But there have been days where I am very, you know, quickly emotional. Like I'll watch something and I'll get emotional about it or I'll have those emotions. That definitely will happen. Um, another thing that happened is so there's some days where I have been extremely exhausted, even though I've been sleeping eight hours, even though if I wake up at 7.30, which is like sleeping in for me, but there's just some days where you feel like you've been hit by a truck exhausted wise and you can't really do that much about it. Working out definitely has helped me tremendously, tremendously, tremendously. That's been my, my number one savior because I actually end up getting more energy when I work out, even though sometimes it's really hard um, but it puts me in a better mood. It definitely gives me some endorphins. I feel better and it's really been my savior. But there are some days where I just have to nap and have to lie down for 20 minutes. I have to do a meditation. And the bottom line is just some days I don't have as much energy as I used to. Um, that's the other kind of thing is I've been a lot more okay just with slowing down. And one of the things I noticed is that with work, I'm a lot of times on my phone. It's how I, you know, reach out to clients. It's how I schedule everything. And I used to try to just like, you know, reply right away within seconds to anybody and everybody. And now I have to just give myself time. And when I get to it is when I'm going to get to it. Obviously, I'm going to get to it that day. But I'm just okay with taking a little bit more time for myself and for my babies. So... Um, just not being so like type A crazy. Let's respond. Let's try to do everything. Let's try. Let's try, try to get everything done one day. I haven't been like that as much. Um, that's been that's been like a, another another big one for me. Let's see. I think those are the biggest ones. Um, also, I guess the last thing is just 
learning to let go. So I feel like as soon as you accept these bodily changes that are happening, or maybe mental changes, physiological changes, things tend to get a little bit better. They get a little easier. If you keep resisting them, like I did in the beginning, I'd be like, what is going on with my boobs now? What's going on with my legs? Like what's happening? What is this? And it's like, yes, you're pregnant. You're going to go through these changes. You signed up for this. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like the sooner that you can accept that, which I understand can be difficult. It, it was somewhat difficult for me to do, but as the longer you try to resist it, I feel like it's just going to get worse. So accept it, girls. If you're pregnant, accept it, go with it. Your body will go back to feeling, you know, somewhat normal. We'll see. I haven't, I haven't been there yet, but I have so many people around me that look and feel amazing after being pregnant and after delivering as long as they have a healthy active lifestyle so anyways guys i hope that helps you please let me know if you've had any of these symptoms some of them are funny and we can't figure them out some of them are obvious that are going to happen but um, i would love to hear what has been going on in your life as well so awesome guys um thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in another time bye